human history, one chapter that continues to fascinate us is the story of the Neanderthals. These ancient beings, once our closest relatives, roamed the landscapes of Europe and Western Asia over 400,000 years ago. Neanderthals, scientifically known as Homo neanderthalensis, were a unique species, separate yet closely related to modern Homo sapiens. They were well adapted to the challenges of their time, thriving in diverse and often harsh environments. The robust build of the Neanderthals was unmistakable. They had strong, muscular bodies, built for a life that demanded physical endurance. Their prominent brow ridges and larger skull capacity are notable features that set them apart from us, their modern human cousins. These traits were not just distinctive but also functional. The robust ribcage and strong limbs speak to their physical prowess. Adaptations such as a wider nose, possibly for humidifying and warming cold air, indicate their resilience in Ice Age Europe. The history of Neanderthals and modern humans diverged from a common ancestor believed to be Homo heidelbergensis around 600,000 years ago. This divergence led to the unique journey of the Neanderthals, paralleling and at times intersecting with our own. Our exploration into the Neanderthal lineage takes us back over half a million years. During this period, early human-like beings were adapting to the diverse and changing landscapes of Eurasia. These ancestors, over countless generations, were gradually setting the stage for what we know as Neanderthals. Around 600,000 years ago, a crucial split occurred in the human family tree. One branch remaining in Africa would eventually lead to modern humans. The other branch, moving across Eurasia, was on a path that would culminate in the Neanderthals. This divergence was a pivotal moment in the history of human-like beings. As Europe's climate oscillated between cold and warmer periods, these early ancestors were molded by their surroundings. Their physical form and behaviors were being shaped slowly and relentlessly by the need to survive in varying and often harsh climates. This period was crucial in developing the distinct characteristics we associate with Neanderthals. A significant chapter in this story is written in a remote cave system in Spain known as Cima de los Huesos or the Pit of Bones. Here, archaeologists unearthed a remarkable collection of fossils dating back over 400,000 years. These remains are among the earliest known links to the Neanderthals. The fossils found in Cima de los Huesos are pivotal for understanding the early stages of Neanderthals. They show a mixture of primitive and more advanced features, suggesting a transition. These remains give us invaluable insights into how these beings were different, yet related to both their predecessors and modern humans. As we examine these ancient bones, tools, and traces left behind, we gain a deeper understanding of this unique group. The Neanderthals, emerging from a complex past, were not just relics of a bygone era, but a significant and dynamic part of our shared history. Their story is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of humans in the face of Earth's relentless changes. Our journey now takes us to the remarkable remnants of the Neanderthals themselves, their fossils. Among the earliest of these are discoveries that have reshaped our understanding of these ancient beings. These fossils are not just bones, they are the storytellers of a long-lost world. The tale of Neanderthal discovery begins in a picturesque valley in Germany, the Neander Valley. In 1856, quarry workers stumbled upon unusual skeletal remains. These bones were markedly different from modern human skeletons, characterized by a heavy brow ridge and a robust structure. This momentous find marked the first recognized discovery of Neanderthal remains. The significance of the Neander Valley discovery cannot be overstated. It was the first piece of evidence suggesting the existence of a human-like species distinct from our own. 
This find not only challenged existing views on human history, but also opened a new chapter in our quest to understand our ancient relatives. The discovery in the Neander Valley was just the beginning. In the years that followed, more fossils emerged from across Europe and parts of Asia. Each new find added a piece to the puzzle, helping to construct a clearer image of the Neanderthals. Sites like the caves of Gibraltar, the Vindia Cave in Croatia, and others have all contributed critical pieces to this story. These early fossils have been instrumental in piecing together the Neanderthal way of life. From studying their bones, we have gleaned insights into their physical strength, health challenges, and even aspects of their daily activities. These remains are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of Neanderthals in diverse environments. To truly understand the Neanderthals, we must look beyond fossils to something much smaller, yet incredibly telling, their DNA. In recent years, groundbreaking advances in genetic research have unlocked secrets that bones alone could not tell. A pivotal moment in our understanding came with the Neanderthal Genome Project, led by the renowned geneticist Svante Paabo. By extracting DNA from Neanderthal fossils, Paabo and his team achieved what was once thought impossible, sequencing the Neanderthal genome. The analysis of Neanderthal DNA revealed a complex interaction and divergence between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. While it is clear that they shared a common ancestor, the genetic data showed subtle yet profound differences in their DNA. One of the most intriguing discoveries from Neanderthal DNA is evidence of interbreeding with early modern humans. This intermingling left a legacy that persists, a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA in many of us today, particularly in non-African populations. What does Neanderthal DNA in modern humans mean? Research indicates that these genetic remnants influence various aspects of our biology, from immune responses to skin and hair characteristics, demonstrating a tangible link to our prehistoric cousins. As we continue to unravel the genetic story of Neanderthals, we gain not just insight into their origins and identity, but also a deeper understanding of ourselves. The legacy of Neanderthals is not confined to history. It is a part of our genetic makeup, a living connection to a world long past. To understand the first Neanderthals, we begin with their most visible legacy, their physical form. The early Neanderthals, emerging in the landscape of Eurasia, bore distinct characteristics that were both a result of and a response to their environment. Imagine beings with a robust build, a large barrel-chested body supported by strong muscular limbs. This formidable physique was not just for strength, but also a crucial adaptation to survive in the demanding terrains and climates of Ice Age Europe. Their skulls tell a story of adaptation, an elongated brain case, low forehead and heavy brow ridges defined their face. The large, wide nose, likely an adaptation for the cold, speaks volumes about the harsh climates they endured. Neanderthals had shorter limbs compared to their overall body size, a feature common in colder regions. This adaptation minimized heat loss and maximized energy efficiency, crucial for survival in Ice Age winters. Their teeth and jaws were not just tools for eating, but also for survival. Large jaws and strong teeth, capable of enduring tough, fibrous foods, indicate a diet that was versatile and adapted to the resources available in their environment. Understanding these adaptations is key to unraveling the story of the first Neanderthals, their origins and their identity. Beyond their physical prowess, the Neanderthals exhibited a rich culture, glimpses of which we see in their tools and artifacts. These relics provide us not just with evidence of survival, but also a window into their cognitive abilities and social structures. 
Neanderthals were skilled toolmakers. Their technology, known as the Mysterian industry, was characterized by flint tools that were more sophisticated and varied than those of their predecessors. These tools were not mere objects of survival, they were the embodiment of evolving knowledge and skill. From the caves of La Valois to the shelters of Lakina, archaeological sites across Europe have yielded a rich array of Neanderthal tools. These tools, including scrapers, points and knives, were crafted with precision, indicating a deep understanding of material properties. The technique known as the Levallois method was a hallmark of Neanderthal ingenuity. This method involved preparing a stone core to produce uniformly shaped flakes, a technique that required foresight and planning, highlighting their cognitive complexity. While other contemporaneous species like Homo erectus also used tools, Neanderthal tools were distinct in their sophistication and efficiency. This advancement in toolmaking is a clear indicator of the cognitive evolution of Neanderthals, setting them apart from other species of their time. The tools and artifacts left behind by the Neanderthals are not mere remnants of a bygone era, they are the markers of a culture that was complex, adaptive, and deeply interconnected with their environment. These cultural expressions, etched in stone and bone, are crucial in understanding the identity and legacy of the first Neanderthals. As we delve deeper into the world of early Neanderthals, an intriguing aspect of their story emerges, their interactions with other hominin species. These interactions were complex, marked by both coexistence and competition, shaping the Neanderthal experience in profound ways. During the time of early Neanderthals, Europe and Asia were a mosaic of diverse hominin species. This period was not the sole dominion of any single group. Instead, it was a dynamic arena where different species, including Neanderthals, encountered each other. One significant species that shared the landscape with early Neanderthals was Homo heidelbergensis. Evidence suggests that there might have been periods of coexistence, possibly even shared territories, between these groups. This coexistence likely involved complex dynamics, from resource sharing to competition. The overlapping territories of Neanderthals and other hominins, such as Homo heidelbergensis, likely led to competition, especially for resources like food and shelter. This competition would have been a driving force in the development of Neanderthal hunting and survival strategies. Beyond competition, there's evidence suggesting interbreeding between Neanderthals and other hominins. This genetic exchange, a significant aspect of their interaction, played a role in the evolution of modern humans and contributed to the genetic diversity we see today. The interactions between Neanderthals and other hominins were a pivotal part of their story. These relationships, marked by coexistence, competition, and even interbreeding, not only influenced the course of Neanderthal development, but also left an indelible mark on the evolutionary journey of humans. Our journey through the corridors of time brings us to a profound realization about the first Neanderthals. These ancient beings, once roaming the landscapes of Eurasia, were not just a separate branch of the human family tree, but were integral to the story of humanity itself. Their robust physique, advanced tool-making skills, and capacity for social interaction set them apart as pioneers in their own right. Understanding the first Neanderthals is crucial for piecing together the human history puzzle. Their existence challenges our perception of what it means to be human and expands our understanding of human diversity and adaptability. The legacy of the Neanderthals intersects with our own species. Genetic evidence shows that they did not vanish without a trace, but rather contributed to our genetic makeup. 
This intermingling of genes is a testament to their enduring impact on the human story. As we reflect on the legacy of the first Neanderthals, we realize that their story is not just a chapter in the past, but a continuous thread in human history. Their journey from emergence to integration offers profound lessons about adaptation, survival, and the interconnected nature of humans. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.